I am Dean Murphy. I'm a baritone from Boston. And this is my second season at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. Hello, my name is Mane Galoyan. Uh, I come from Armenia and my, I'm a soprano. <laughs> Hallo, ich heiße Joel Allison. Ich bin 28 Jahre alt. Ich bin ein Bassbariton. Ich komme aus Kanada, aus Toronto. Guten Tag, ich heiße Valeria Savinska. Ich komme aus Russland, aus Moskau. Ich bin 23 Jahre alt und ich bin Soprano. I'm uh, Arianna, I'm from Italy in a small village uh, in Celleno and uh, I'm 24 years and I'm a mezzo-soprano. Hello, my name is Karis Tucker, I am 28 years old, I'm a mezzo-soprano. Votre toast from Carmen. Now maybe Dorabella Rose. So, yeah. At the moment, it's Sein wir wieder gut from uh, Ariadne of Naxos. Um, I would say Valentin's aria from Faust. Avant de quitter ce lieu. It's hard to to choose, but I think Mimi and Fior de Ligi. Uh, Ned das Aria, not that I would sing the role anytime soon. Gerald Finley. Oh, uh, with anyone? <laughs> really? I mean. Jonas Kaufmann. <laughs> if it could be possible, it will be Maria Callas and Pavarotti. <laughs> With uh, René Fleming or Dark Angelo, yeah. Well, before September, I would have said Nina Stemme, but that dream actually came true. She's one of one of my many singers that I love to sing with, and I'm so lucky I got to do it. <laughs> Budapest Opera. Zurich Opera. Palais Garnier in Paris. Well, I have to say Deutsche Oper. No, I don't. I actually do love Deutsche Oper Berlin um, because it's, it's so great for the audience. Wherever you sit, you get a good view and you can hear well, which is not the case in all opera houses. Uh, when I got to sing with Cecilia Bartoli in Zurich, she did a gala concert and I sang Don Giovanni to her Zelina. <laughs> Last year, when I went to Japan for seeing uh, Suzuki, it was a very, very moving and magnificent moment. The first time I sang Traviata when I was 24. Das Rheingold auf dem Parkdeck. It was really amazing to be part of that. It was like a resurrection from the first, um, from the first quarantine. Opera twice and the first time I was having an audition tour in Europe and I wanted to audition uh, uh, to have a guest uh, contract and it was my very last audition I was uh, very tired but I said I'm gonna give it my all my audition for Deutsche Oper Berlin actually was uh, me singing at the Opera Foundation competition in New York City um, to two seasons ago two years ago and um, I started with my aria Lorsqu'on a plus de vin quartier from Sans Rion by Jules Massenet. It's a very funny aria. And then um, the, the judges asked for Parto Parto Matu Ben Mio from La Clemenza di, di Tito. And I went in and I used to start with Sempre Libera. And here I am starting Sempre Libera. And uh, after the first half, Christophe and Viviana start talking to each other. And I kept singing and I was like, they're talking, 
they're very excited or they're, I don't know what they felt. And I was like, should I continue? Should I not? Oh, it was amazing. I actually heard very quickly. Uh, my audition was on Friday and on Sunday, my telephone rang and I couldn't, I couldn't answer it at the, at the moment. And my husband was like, oh, they're calling from Germany. And I was like, oh, don't joke like that. And then I finished singing and Viviana and Christoph were like, we don't need to hear anything else. You will be singing Claviata with us. <laughs> it turns out it was just my brother calling me. But two hours later, I actually did get a phone call from Elizabeth Warburl at the Opera Foundation in New York City. And she said that the people at Deutsche Oper were adamant to have me, which I was very honored. And honestly, I don't remember much after that because I was so, so excited. My life had just completely changed. I actually had just come back from an audition in Paris, um, but I sang for Christoph in New York, and I was quite jet-lagged. <laughs> um, I think I sang Bella si come un angelo and uh, the Count's aria from Nozze di Figaro. And yeah, when I got the email from Christoph, I was thrilled, yeah. <laughs> really nervous all the time really and um, sometimes I want to run a run away when I'm backstage waiting for my entrance but I stay for me I always try to think of everything as a performance so I don't try to think as an, an audition as anything different than a performance that helps me just think of everything as the same and keeps me a little calmer because I perform all the time I actually have a, a ritual that I do all the time usually it starts either three or four days before a performance, sometimes two weeks before a performance, if it's a very big or important thing. Um, every night when I, I go to sleep, when I go to bed, I close my eyes and I think through the whole performance. <laughs> so it's really no management for me. I just have to go for it. <laughs> I think through every note, every word, every movement. I imagine how it feels. I imagine what I'm going to do. Uh, when I, uh, normally, when I have an audition or a concert, I'm a little bit nervous. So when I stay at, at home, I, I like to do some exercise for my mind and for my body. And then when I, I, I like to stay in the place, uh, for example, two hours before, and um, because I want to warm, um, warm my voice, and then I, I can sing, yeah, I, I'm ready to sing. And that way when I get on stage, it helps calm my nerves because I know that I can, I can do it in my head, it's already there, it, it helps with memorization, and then I'm not quite so nervous. Of course I'm nervous like everyone, but when I come to the house, I do my makeup and that helps me to concentrate. But when I don't sing, I... I love to uh, do a lot of uh, sport, uh, I'm a boxing. And then when I'm done with my makeup, um, I go to the room where I could uh, warm up like uh, the biggest part of my voice and uh, then I think I, I'm concentrating and I'm trying to find my zen. Goals for the future, I guess, would be to uh, just kind of serve this art form as best as I can. I really uh, would like uh, to sing for, uh, for, for my future. Well, the roles that I'm dreaming of, um, I would love to sing Komponist in Ariadne of Naxos. I would also love to sing um, Octavian in the Rosenkavalier, um, Eboli 
It's one of my biggest dream roles uh, in Don Carlo. I would love to be able to sing in all the big famous opera houses here in Germany and Europe. Um, my bucket list includes the Vienna Staatsoper, um, Munich Oper, uh, Bayreuth, uh, Covent Garden, all of those places. I dream of corona-free world where we can entertain and sing and dance on stage and live our normal lives again.